Good morning. Um, welcome to Craft Time. Um, I guess this is a trend now. It shows my video until I start it and then I can't see myself. So please let me know if you guys are watching and you can't see me. Um, this is what I did yesterday and it was working fine, so I'm not sure. Um, but please let me know if you cannot see the picture. Um, the video is not popping up. So, um, But today is craft time and so we're, we have a couple of crafts. Um, I was originally planning on doing one children's craft and one teen craft from the um, Summer Reading Club goodie bags and I realized that the, the one I was going to do for the teens was actually the, I was going to actually make the recipe um, for the pepperoni pizza waffle pockets and then I realized it's 10 o'clock in the morning and um, though we want to be eating pizza we maybe shouldn't yet and I didn't want to be noisy in the kitchen um, while my husband was trying to work so um, good morning Charlie. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me know if you guys can see me okay. Um, but I realize that maybe not what we want at 10 in the morning or need at 10 in the morning. And so I'm going to do a video um, later today of me making this recipe. Um, and even if you didn't get a teen some reading club bag and you're interested in making that, it's a really easy, fun um, kind of snack or a light meal um, and a little different take on pizza. Um, and so I'm going to show you guys two kids crafts, one of them which was in the Summer Reading Club bags. And then um, I'm going to share a link with you guys um, at the end about how to make um, ninja stars. Um, because though I could do a video of it, I don't think it would be as good as the one I watched um, or used. And they had pictures from looking down on how to fold it. And I think if I tried to do it with um, just me trying to film it, it wouldn't work and you guys probably wouldn't get what I'm trying to tell you. So um, I'm just gonna link to that video. So if you guys wanna make a cool ninja star, all you need is two pieces of paper um, and then some scissors and then it's mainly just a folding activity. So, um, but the two craft kids crafts we're gonna do right now, um, the one that was in your bag is the, you'll find a letter D um, piece of paper and then some um, stickers um, that are different colors and this one is just a very simple one we were going to do for our ABC story time um, and it's mainly that D for dots and so um, this one's super easy you don't really need a tutorial for it but we're just going to stick the dots all over the letter D um, and so I'm going to do that really quick just so you guys can see um, or if you, and then this, a good extension activity is to have them, have your kids think of what other words start with D. And you could even make a list on the back or have them draw um, pictures of things that they know start with the letter D. Um, so super easy activity and kids love stickers. So I hope they enjoy this one. Um, I'll stick these on really quick. I don't know why my video isn't showing. Maybe it's maybe a good thing. I don't know because I'm kind of tired of looking at my face on videos, but um, it kind of helps me know if I'm like actually showing you guys what I need to. So there's our letter D. So very quick craft um, without much need of explanation. Our next one we're going to do is a hedgehog paper plate craft. This is one I wish I would have put a paper plate in there for you guys, um, but Hopefully you have a paper plate around. Um, you could honestly even just do it with a piece of paper and just put it in a circle. Um, but you start off with your paper plate and you just fold it in half. And then I, as you see that I've done already, um, you draw kind of a template of what um, a hedgehog looks like. Um, yours can be um, different from mine. I just kind of followed what I saw on Pinterest. Um, and so I just made sure to make around, make the long nose, uh, make a mouth, eyes, and then we're gonna end up cutting along here. Um, so if your kids wanna do this or if they want you to draw it for them, you can totally do that. Um, and what's nice about this is when they use scissors, it doesn't have to be precise at all. So this is very good scissor practice if your kids are just learning how to use scissors or working on um, getting better at using scissors because that is a hard thing to do. So I'm gonna cut mine out really quick. Um, so I can show you guys what it'll end up looking like. This is kind of a noisy situation. Okay. Um, so that's what the nose looks like. 
Um, and then all you do after that is just cut little strips along on both sides of the paper plate. And so it makes it kind of um, like it has those little prickles on it that it, or needles or whatever, hedgehogs. Um, again, very good scissor practice um, for kids that are just starting to use scissors. Um, because it doesn't have to be exactly the same. All right, so I've done that. And then it kind of helps if you just kind of ruffle them a little bit. I'm going to cut the end down here so it um, kind of ruffle them a little bit so you can tell there's some texture to it. Um, yeah. So these are very easy crafts. I'm sorry I don't have um, super cool crafts, but um, so there it looks kind of like he has crazy hair today. But there you go. I hope you guys can see that. And you can actually draw it on both sides if you want um, to make it look like a hedgehog from both sides. I'll do that really quick. Um, but again, these are super easy, hopefully with supplies that you already have. Or that you can easily get. Um, so there we go. So there is our paper plate hedgehog. Um, so I hope you guys are able to make these. Um, and they're pretty easy ones. And then um, so they kind of just take up some time. But they're not super difficult where it, you feel exhausted by the end of them. Um, so again, I'll link in the um, comments of this post uh, the tutorial on how to make a ninja star. Um, it took me a second to kind of figure out the pictures when I was doing it, but after you do it, you realize it's actually pretty easy. And so I'm hoping elementary school age kids could do this as well. Um, but I think teenagers will really enjoy this, uh, making these, um, and hopefully they won't hurt anybody if they decide to throw them because <laughs> that happens. Um, and then, like I said, um, I'm going to, um, jump on later today with a video about how to make the pepperoni pizza waffle pockets. This is one that we've made quite a few times in our Simple Cooking for Teens program um, and it's a really big hit because um, it has ingredients um, that you are pretty easy to get and so I'll tell you those real quick in case you don't have the ingredients and I will post a picture in this post as well with the recipe list um, but it's just um, a, kind of a tube of um, refrigerated biscuits um, pizza sauce, um, shredded mozzarella cheese. I'm going to use just, um, I'm thinking I have a different cheese. I didn't go and buy mozzarella cheese. Pepperonis, if you want pepperonis or any other pizza toppings that you enjoy. Um, and then we do this in a waffle iron. Um, and so it's very quick and easy. Um, it can get a little messy if you fill up the waffle pocket too much. So um, just be aware that that's a thing. But it's a really fun take on pizza. And I hope you guys can tune in to watch that. Um, just a reminder that we um, put out our new June Summer Reading Club bags. I think yesterday is when they put them out. Um, so you can stop by the library anytime we're open to pick those up. And those will have um, crafts that we're going to be doing um, in the next few weeks. And then also um, just like cute little prize things. So um, I hope you guys can pick those up. And then I don't know if there's still kindness kits, but if you wanted to pick up a kindness kit as well, there's a limited amount of those. Um, but it's just... Um, little kind of that has materials in it for you to be able to, to show kindness to other people um, through little projects. But all right, I think that is all I have for you guys today. Um, I'll include those links in the post. And if you have any questions, um, feel free to comment and I will answer those for you. All right, I hope you guys have a great rest of your Tuesday. Bye.